Hello my fellow mermaids and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you Cuticula the Good Fairies Duo. And why is it important? Well, one, it's Sleeping Beauty related, which is my second favorite movie besides The Little Mermaid. Two, it's a duo of Make It Blue, <laughs> Make It Pink, Make It Blue, which is my favorite scene of the movie. And three, because it's actually a collaboration with me. <laughs> so this is a duo that Amanda from Cuticula and I did when we saw each other this year, a couple months ago, and it's finally going to be live. So let's address the elephant in the room. I took very seriously the make it blue part of the duo and I have a new look. It's make it blue. My hair is blue now, as you can see here, blue, blue. It's darker than it was like meant to be, but hey, it got like that, but you can totally see like it's blue. I'm leaving my mermaid fantasies. Mermaid and Sleeping Beauty in one. Yeah. Make it blue. Uh -huh. I'm of course team blue, just in case you didn't know. So yeah, this <laughs> duo, back to the point of the video. This duo, as I said, was inspired by the Make It Pink, Make It Blue scene from Sleeping Beauty, which is by far my favorite scene of the movie. And this was the inspiration, like the two versions of Aurora in her dress. Ta-da! So this is part of the inspiration. And these are the polishes. Let me grab them. So there we have it. We have Make It Pink, Make It Blue. And the duo is called the Good Fairies because that's how they are named. Uh, Flora, Fauna and Meriwether, they are named um, the three good fairies in the movie, so we decided to name it the Good Fairies Duo. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm just really excited about this. And I have swatches, I have nail art to share with you. It's gonna be amazing, I hope you like it. As far as the information goes for like release dates, they will be available on September 10th at 8 a.m. Pacific time on the Cuticula site. They will be 23 for the duo, or you can get them individually for 12.50 each. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the same date that Amanda is releasing her fall collection, which I'm totally getting it. It's oh, stunning. I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. So I will leave the Cuticula site down below so you can check it out, as well as their Facebook group and their Instagram page, as well as my Instagram page, so you can see everything like all together and more swatches of everything, as I said before. Now, I have two polishes to share with you, which are the duo, and I'm also gonna show you uh, the signs that I did for the blue and the pink polish, mix them together. Stay tuned, I, I did three designs to be specific. So, without further ado, let's get into swatches. Make It Pink is a bright pink jelly with shifting glass flakes, neon and pale pink glitters and rose gold metallic flakes. As the description says, these two polishes have a jelly formula, so I recommend applying thin coats and using three so you get the most color payoff and you can really see the different added elements in between the layers. For being a bright pink, this one is actually coming up pretty color accurate in the video, but still take the pictures into consideration for a much more accurate color. Perfect formula and application, and I didn't have to do anything special to the polish to get all the elements to come out, but because of them, this one, as well as the blue one, will dry texture and be a bit difficult to remove. Here's three coats of Make It Pink with a glossy and matte top coat. Make It Blue is a bright blue jelly with shifting glass flakes, neon blue and pale aqua glitters, and blue metallic flakes. This polish has the same formula as the last one, and I forgot to say that even though I apply three on both swatches, if you don't mind a bit of nail line or you have shorter nails than I do, then I bet you will be good to go with just two coats. I'm really loving the contrast the glitters and the flakies have with both of these polishes, and the end result looks really beautiful on the nail. I have to say I also don't know how I love them more, shiny or matte. Normally I'm more of a shiny person, but I really like how the glitters and the flakies especially look with a matte top coat. So let me know which look you like more, shiny or matte. 
Here is three coats of Make It Blue with a glossy and matte top coat. And here's a look at both polishes in the duo with a glossy and matte top coat. Now let me show you the first look I did which features Make It Pink as a base, so I went ahead and applied it so it reached full opacity. Then I took Sugar Bubbles 85 plate and chose an image that featured Aurora in her dress and transferred it to my stamper. Since I used the pink polish as a base, I decided to make the dress on the image blue. So I just went ahead and did a reverse stamping design with the corresponding colors of the blue dress. One tip to achieve a reverse stamping design is to let the original image dry for a bit in the stamper before getting around to coloring it, so you don't risk it getting smudged. After I was done with the image, I applied a coat of sticky base coat so the image could be transferred and went ahead and applied it to my nail. To finish up the design, I just applied a coat of cuticula limitless top coat and here's the final result for the first design I did using Make It Pink as a base. For the second design, I used Make It Blue as a base. So just like the last one, I applied it until I reached full opacity and I used the same plate as the previous design, but chose a different image this time. Just like I showed you before, I went ahead and colored the image with the corresponding colors, but this time, of course, using the pink dress palette. Another tip I have for reverse stamping when it comes to coloring the images are to use stamping polishes instead of regular ones. I mean, you can totally use regular polishes to fill in the design, but I found that using stamping polishes instead really helps to not smudge the design, and they're also more opaque to begin with, so you get a full coverage design right away. So after I'm done coloring in the design I stamped, I applied the same sticky base coat to my nail and then transferred the image. Just like the last time, I used Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat to seal the design and here's the final look of the pink dress over Make It Blue. Now, for the final design, I decided to take inspiration from the actual splattered dress, which in my opinion is the best because you get both pink and blue. So I decided to start with Cuticula Blush Base Coat so I could give my nails a natural look. And then I went ahead and used Baroness X Porthole, which is a clear fluid nail or polish, and paired it with both polishes in the duo. And all I did was place a small amount of the clear fluid nail or polish in a silicone mat, and then apply both pink and blue polishes on top. Then I folded the mat so the polishes could spread. And I noticed they weren't spreading like regular fluid nail or polishes do, but that may be because of all the added elements. I still really love how they ended up looking, so after a few minutes of letting it dry, I went ahead and peeled off the decal I made and placed it on my nail with a stamper. And since I can't stop myself, I decided to stamp the phrase Make It Blue on one nail and Make It Pink on the other. So I took this Achela Cosadora plate and transferred each letter onto my nail. And yes, this took a while, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but in the end, it was totally worth it. Once I was finally done with everything, I finished the design once again with Cuticula Limila subcoat. And as you can see here, I stamped both Flora and Meriwether on my other two fingers to complete the look. Okay, so I do have a favorite of two of them, which is the blue one. But that's because I'm a sucker for blue polishes, so that's a given. But I have to say, this kind of shade of pink, I really love. As I said in previous videos, pastel shades, no matter the, the shade, not just pink ones, I'm not particularly fond of, but make it like neon hot pink and I'm sold. So I really love these polishes. I'm gonna show you a picture of them, how they look, because they're not meant to be toppers. They were created to be like the jelly formula so you could see the different like added uh, glitters and flakies in between the layers. But when Amanda was making it, we discovered that it actually looks awesome over black. Like one coat over a black polish, it totally transforms it. So I'm gonna show you here how it looks. As you can see, you can still get the pink and the blue effect of the polish, but it's a much more ch like deeper shade of it. I don't know, I just really like the versatility of it. Versatility <laughs> of it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite or do you have like no favorite because you love them both, maybe. And do you like Sleeping Beauty too? Do you have a favorite Disney movie? As I said before, 
The Little Mermaid is my favorite, but my second favorite it's actually Sleeping Beauty. And my favorite villain is Maleficent, which is from Sleeping Beauty, so they're tied right over there. Remember this go live on September 10th at 8 a.m. Pacific time on QTGLA site, which will be linked down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out of any of my upcoming videos. As always, I will leave my Instagram page and all my other social media handles in the description below. And until next time, have a bubbly day! Thank you.